Hi, I'm Jennifer Glass, and I teach anatomy and physiology and AP biology at Mount Notre Dame High School. Hi, I'm Brittany Smith, and I teach biology and anatomy and physiology at Dater High School. This summer, our lab focused on skin hydration. Dry skin can lead to itchy, irritated skin. To understand our research, it's important to be familiar with the stratum corneum, which is the outermost layer of the epidermis, composed of dead keratinized cells, basically an empty cell with a lipid bilayer cell membrane, as seen here. In lab, we use the stratum corneum substitute, developed by Dr. Park and her team. Several pieces of equipment were used in the creation of the stratum corneum substitute, or SCS. A vacuum oven is used to prepare the liposomes. Then, a tip sonicator is used to mix the liposomes with the pH 9 solution. Finally, the presence of the bilayer is confirmed through dark field microscopy. In our research, we wanted to find out how lactic acid affects moisture retention. To do this, we first tested various concentrations of lactic acid on the SCS to find the dehydration rate. We found that 5% and 10% lactic acid had a statistically significant impact on the dehydration rate when compared with the control. Next, after much trial and error, Dr. Park devised a method for taking the dehydration rate of lactic acid on pig skin. When we tested various concentrations of lactic acid on the pig skin, we found that 5% and 15% lactic acid had a statistically significant impact on the dehydration rate. Research like this will help inform product development and companies that produce skincare products. My unit begins by introducing the engineering design process through a simple activity using six Legos to build a duck. This will be followed by a comparison of the engineering design process with the scientific method. The second part of my unit will focus on skin. The hook will be a lesson I'm calling a closer look at the epidermis. Students will use magnifiers attached to their phones to observe skin and a corneometer to measure their skin's hydration. I plan to ask my students how their skin stays hydrated and then get to the essential question, do lotions really work to keep skin hydrated? Students will apply engineering design as they face a challenge to create a product that maximizes water retention. My unit is entitled So Fresh and So Clean Clean, How Soap Affects Skin Moisture. First, as a hook, I will have students wash their hands with different soaps and observe differences in the way their skin feels. Then I will introduce students to the engineering design process through an activity called Build Me Up, where they will be challenged to create a two foot tower made from index cards and tape. For my next lesson, students will investigate skin. They will first investigate their skin using a digital magnifier and a corneometer. Next, they'll use dissection tools to investigate pig skin. The third lesson in my unit is called Rub-A-Dub-Dub. -dub. In this lesson, students will test the properties of commercially available cleansing products. As a nod to the pandemic, we will also discuss proper hand washing technique. Finally, students will be tasked with creating a cleansing product that is also moisturizing while under budgetary constraints. They'll share their products and findings through a gallery walk. We'd like to thank everyone involved in the RET program, the NSF, and the University of Cincinnati.